Woo! I'm just back from a ride, as you can tell, just in time for the Dirt Shed Show. We're going to be looking at some gadgets. We've got news from Blake, who's in Leger, and we've got our new presenter, Doddy. It's the Dirt Shed Show. Let's do it. <coughs> oh, that was a hell of a ride, Doddy. That was a hell of a ride. I tell you what, oh, nearly. That was a good ride. I enjoyed it. You should have come. Next you enjoyed one. it. Right, before we get started, let me introduce you to this guy right here. It's Andrew Dodd. Doddy, tell him about yourself. I've uh, been a cycling journalist since 2001. Mountain biking is what I'm all about, especially the tech stuff. That's what I'm here for. Yes, very, very passionate about the tech stuff. You are a bike geek. Nothing wrong with being a geek. Nothing That's wrong nothing. with that. Me too. Me too. Right, let's get on with this week's show. Um, I want to talk about gadgets. Gadgets and what are the best gadgets on mountain bikes ever? So I'm thinking things like back in the day there was a thing called a DCD. Dave's chain device? Yes, Dave's chain device. Um, it was a great uh, option for getting rid of chain slap and bringing the chain round the front cog a little bit further so it didn't fall off so much. Wicked little device, made your bike look cool. Too. And it evolved into the modern chain guides. Yes, yeah, today. I suppose it did. I suppose mm. it did. Um, so that's a good idea on what I'm thinking on gadgets, but these days the tech's so advanced, like something like DI2 is a gadget, yeah, it's, isn't it? It's unbelievable gadgetry. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's some of the best. Uh, I think that makes the bike so cool. So I think that's probably one of my favourites, but what, uh, what about yourself? A little bit more simple. I like the dropper post actually, because I think uh, dropper posts can even transform a rigid bike. Yeah. Pretty sure you can ride a rigid bike with a dropper post nearly as quick as a suspension bike without one. That is quite a statement. Idea for a video another time, I think. Yes, we've definitely got to make that video. Write that one down, Alex, write that down. He's writing. We're going to do that video. Um, what about something like Strava? That's. It. I know what you're going to say. It's not a gadget, but it does improve a ride, and it, it and it technology-wise helps. I'm not you. so sure it improves the ride. <laughs> it's, uh, it, subjective. This is. No, no, it's, it's, it's a great. It's let's, a great tool. <laughs> let's find out what the best gadget is by doing a poll. Doddy Duck. Just nearly got you. Right, first option is a dropper post. Second one is DI2. That's a great option. Third, tubeless tyres. That's a good option. Um, fourth, Strava. Is it is it a gadget? I don't know. And then the fifth one, um, I like to put something really silly at the end of my polls, Doddy. Something daft. So uh, bar ends. <laughs> you can choose those. Let us know what you think. Get involved in the poll uh, and put some comments down below. What is your favourite gadget in mountain biking? So I'm pretty interested in the poll from last week because that's uh, controversial. It's, uh, should e-bikes be charged more at trail centres for usage? Yeah, it's a tricky one, this. Um, I've got the results of last week's poll. Um, they should pay 25%. Oof, that's harsh. I think that's harsh. Um, no way they shouldn't pay 65%. Yeah, like e-bikes, yeah. yes. Um, and last one, could I borrow a charger? 10%. So 10% <laughs> out there are struggling for power, which is a shame. Yeah, okay, so in the comments though, you guys had something to say. Stephen Paulson, if e-bikes pay more for usage, shouldn't fitter riders pay more for usage? Because they'll be doing more laps. That's a good point. They're always going to outlast the battery. Yeah, they will. Right. True, that's true. That's true. So maybe the fitter guys, you're going to have to start getting your hands in your wallets. I don't know. Um, Gaming with Ian said, who needs an e-bike if you have strong legs? Well, actually, it's not just about that. No, They're fun. No. They're for different riding, for different people. Yeah. Martin loves e-bikes. Oh, I, I love e-bikes. I love e-bikes. <laughs> I am lazy, but they're not for lazy people. They're for people who want a different experience, I think. Um, Peter Kinsella, this is really interesting, this one. Uh, and also a controversial way to leave it. Uh, Peter Kinsella says, just wondering, as an e-bike OAP who has a number of health problems, should I sue under the age or disability discrimination legislation? <laughs> God, got it out. Okay, into the news. Now, before we start, obviously it was Leo Gang uh, downhill just gone, and it was amazing, but we want to, we want to touch on, there was a couple of crashes, nasty Cup. crashes. Lloyd Bruni took a proper punch um, and had a nasty injury on his leg, so get well soon, Loic. Uh And yeah, Remy Tyrion, oh, horror show. Probably the worst crash I've ever seen. It was horrendous. so yeah. nasty. So get well to those boys. Um, obviously, never liked seeing uh, any of the racers out there having a prank, but there we are, get well soon. Into the results, though, uh, Aaron Green owns this track. He absolutely undisputed owns champ on this track. Yeah. Smashed it. It was a, an amazing ride from him. Uh, but great to see Loris Verger in second place. Hell of a run that was. Yeah, getting a 29er up there, and then oh, Mr. Consistent, 
Ah, Greg Minard. So he is looking good in this championship right he now. Is. He's won it yeah. for William. So uh, Minard took third. What about the women, Doddy? Well, Tony up top, like what can you say? Absolutely oh. amazing result for her. It's great, isn't Stokes. it? Because yeah. yeah, she's been she's been needing that win for so long. I think her confidence now is going to soar, and she's yeah. going to be hard to beat. I think. Uh, of course, Tracy Hannah in second. So yes. another great result for her. Yeah, that, yeah, it's a good ride. Good ride. Not consistent in the uh, championship now. She'll yeah. be leading that. And your favourite, uh, Pompon in the third. Pompon, yeah. Miriam Nicole. <laughs> Why is she called Pompon? I don't know. Let us know. Let us yeah, know in the comments. Let us know in the comment section down below. Why is Miriam Nicole called Pompon? Miriam, I think you're probably watching. <laughs> let us know. I'd love to know why. Nobody seems to know why. Okay, well, uh, one of the latest things I've seen is uh, the new brand of Seminic video. Oh. Simplicity. He's just the king of like textbook jumping and riding. And this is two minutes and 39 seconds of just, it's ridiculous, isn't it? You've seen yeah, it. I, I, I loved it. I, when, I, when it started, I was about 10 seconds in, I saw how long it was gonna be, and I was gutted. Because yeah. I was like, that is not gonna be enough of this. Uh, this guy is, he's nailing it every time at the moment, isn't he? He he's is, he's, so he's, he's definitely the smoothest jumper out there. Yeah. Yeah, and he obviously puts, I mean, I'd love to see some of the outtakes because he obviously is very, very strict on, on which clips they use because it's so precise. Even when he like puts in a big whip and you really land him with that back wheel out, he lands in a turn and yeah. it's just, oh, crisp. Very nice. Speaking of other big jumpers, where's our uh, resident jumper? Bing bong? Where has he gone? Actually, actually, I know where he is. He's out in Le Jay, where he's going to be competing in a whip-off contest. A uh, so let's see, what are you up to, Blake? Oh, thank you very much, Ding Dong. Hey, wait, I see a new face sat in the shed. Is that, is that Andrew Dodd? It is! <laughs> I'm so stoked, dude. I can't wait to do some work with you. Welcome to the team. But I'm out here in Le Jay Crankworks, and it's all going off. We've got Whipoff that I'm competing in, we've got Pro Bikes, we've got a SRAM Truck Tour, and we've got all of this rad slope style stuff to take in, I can't wait. Now let's take a look at what you guys have been saying on the channel over the last week, and we're gonna start with last week's Dirt Shed Show, where I've got to apologize, Dolly. <laughs> oh God, I keep getting <laughs> this wrong. Um, first off, I insulted Cairns. Uh, now I've insulted Canberra as a track. Um, and I'm, I just want to apologise. So James, Jake, uh, and Nua Eunice um, have both called me out on it, saying, "What? What's your problem with Canberra? Because there was a kind of lousy race there once, uh, and uh, uh, now I've kind of like made it seem like all of Canberra's crap. And it's not. I got it wrong. I'm sorry. Can we move on? Petey loves it. Petey loves it. It's a good track for him. Yeah. Okay, right. So are we over that now? Everyone's everyone's fine. Hunky dory. Hunky dory, right. Um, great question here from Otis Cavani. Can Blake backflip? What? Oh. <laughs> Damn he can backflip. He can do two of them. He never lands on his wheels though. <laughs> He's a he big, strong lad. Yes, Blake can backflip. And, oh, well, looking at Blake versus Ollie. Yes. Car Park Captains. Great video. Yeah, so there's plenty of captions on that. So, Blake versus Sam Pilgrim. Oh. Is that one in the pipeline, do you think? It is now. It is now. That is a great idea. <laughs> oh, who's going to win that one? That's uh, a tough one. It is a tough one. Pilgrim's Ooh. pretty good at that sort of stuff. Well, Blake's good. Blake is good. Um, it's not a cardinal, it's a cardigan. Oh, no. I got that wrong as well. Keep Tom Cardi's wrong. signature trick, it's not a, what did I say it was? A cardinal. A cardinal, it's a cardigan. I knew that. Man, and in fact, someone else has called you out on that as well. Oh, I'm sorry about okay, that. Okay, well, let's go for a better one. Is Ollie Wilkins tall or Blake Sampson small? <laughs> well, Ollie Wilkins most definitely is not tall. <laughs> so I think we know the answer to that. Blake is, hey, look, Blake's a great rider. He's challenged in stature upwards. But he makes up for it in width, doesn't he? Because he unit. is a unit, yeah. right? He is <laughs> strong. So yeah, he's not tall, but he's powerful. Strong and short and powerful. <laughs> um, I've got to say, I'm pretty sure the turkey quiz Twizzler is supposed to be a back wheel 360 to wheelie away, not a ride away. Oh. And so he did, we, no, he rode out did, shot. No, we did wheelie in to Twizzler. But I think actually it should be a ride in spin to wheelie out. We didn't do well in that. You filmed that, Alex. You got that wrong. You should have pointed out. These camera chicken guys are supposed to... The chicken twizzler. That's what we It's did. a new one. Good point. Heard it here first. Yes. At least Blake didn't go for a kiss this time. Oh, you know, you know them headbutt shots. When you go up to Blake, you've got to watch out because he really wants to just turn it into a kiss. To be fair, you got to watch out doing it to you as well. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll hit you with my squeaker. That sounds worse than oh, it was. I beg your pardon. 
<laughs> Progression session. Doddy, this is the bit where we get videos from our viewers. We get to have a look and they prove that they are progressing. It's all about practice after all. Always right, perfect. I've got a great example for this first one from Oliver Pack. Take a look at this. He has crashes this first time, little jump into some uh, rooty, woody bit of trail. Check it out. Comes in, it's all good. He, no, Looks nearly good. hits this tree. Look. Whoa. 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 That was close. That was close. Second go, look. Coming in, hits the tree and he's off. He's down. Third go, though, look. Got it nailed. Coming in. Whack! Sweet as. Misses the trees. Now, Tidy. That is progression. Love it. Thank you, Oliver. You're doing great. Um, next up, love this. Jane Goodacre riding this really bit of tricky bit of trail, stony trail. Looks a bit loose in Australia. Um, something she's seen her husband do loads of times, but he's helped her get down it. I love this. Is he someone really learning to ride mountain bikes? But check it out. It's uh, kind of heartwarming, this one. I like it. He's very supportive, isn't he? He is. I remember being, you know, when you're frightened of a trail, you sort of stiffen up, don't you? Yeah, yeah. You know, so it's hard to get going. Looks pretty steep. But she's Look at the angle it. of those trees. Yeah. It looks loose as well, doesn't it? But she's getting it. Coming in. Oh, yes. Yes. Tidy. Yes. I think this might be the one. Yes. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Got it. So great progression. If you're uh, out there riding and you want to show us how well you're getting on, then send us your videos to uh, dirtshed at gmbn.com. I nearly forgot the email then. I don't know how I could have possibly done that, but I haven't. It's, dead. it's just down there. Alex is going to put it on screen for me. He's shaking his head. He will. He will. Well, Blake's not here. He's in Le Jay, and it's first try Friday time. So Doddy, have, have we got a first try Friday we've, this week? We've got an amazing one lined up. This is nice. from uh, Catherine Hunter out in South Africa, and it's from the Garden Route Trail. Yeah. Do you remember yeah. that? That's in pure darkness. Yes, I know the one. And this one is of um, Ethan. He's 10 years old. Hi, I'm Ethan. I'm 10, and this is my first try Friday. So you check this out. This is unreal. Look at the size of that double. Yeah. A lot bigger than he is. Oh my God, that was wicked. Um, I've got another one here from his brother, Jaden. Um, he's also doing a first try Friday. Nice little intro. Hello, I'm Jaden, I'm eight, and this is my first try Friday. Love that, and look at this, step down. Whoop! That's a decent size. He's tiny. How old is he? Oh, he's too he's good. eight, he's too eight good. years old, that's unreal. Yeah, well that must Can be it, that. No, there's a better one, there's Caleb, and he's six years old. What? Check this one out. This is my first time Friday. Oh, I love it. Okay, oh, so a little, little rock, tech trail rock. there. Yeah. The bikes are a lot bigger rock. than him. How rad is that? That is one talented family hand of out, Doddy. Love it. You're good at that. Am I? Yeah, very good. Oh, that's good. I thought Blake was quite good at that. Okay, time for tech of the week. Um, most suspension bikes these days have some kind of lockout switch or a firming lever on there so you can basically climb or ride flatter terrain, a bit easier. But the first people to actually bring that to the market was Scott back in 2003 with the Genius. Now this bike had a handlebar remote which you could lock out the shock fully, we could switch it to a trail setting as well. Yeah. Um, and also in that same year, that was when Thomas yeah, Frischnick... Frischnick won the World Marathon Championship 2003 yeah, and on that bike. Pretty unheard of in those days for anyone to ride anything with rear suspension, let alone win a race that significant. Yeah. Over the years they've developed the bike loads and it's had all sorts of different guises. And uh, Neil's been out in the Alps riding the very latest one. Oh, let's have a look. Sorry I'm not in the shed this week, boys. I'm out in Aosta in Italy uh, riding bikes. Well, actually, taking a look at the all-new Scott Genius. So here it is. It's 150 mil travel, and you see it's an all-new design. Much like the Spark last year where the frame was redesigned, you see now the shot comes down to the bottom bracket instead of going onto that top tube. It means they can save a load of weight. Uh, the kinematics of that suspension system are now different as well, so it's much more supple to begin with, and then ramps up nearer the full stroke. It's also the lightest 150 mil travel trail bike on the market. 2,249 grams for frame, shock and mountain hardware. Another really interesting feature is you can swap out these 27.5 inch wheels to 29 really easily, flip that chip in that shock link just to adjust the BB and away you go. I've done a full detailed video on this bike already. Uh, it's up on the channel today, so check that out if you haven't seen that one already. Competition time. I love giving stuff away. 
It's my favourite bit of the Dirt Shed show. Um, and now I'm going to announce the winner um, from last week's Leo Gang competition, where you were trying to guess the winners in the male and female. We had 42 people get it right. And the winner is Rachel Manning. Well done, Rachel. You're a winner. And there is a GMBN goodie pack box case coming your way. Uh, send us your details and we'll get them over to you. Uh, also, we had the guess the weight of the new Crank Brothers Mallet DH pedals. We've got three winners for that one. Yes. Ryan Pazinski, Henry White and Adam McWilliams. So there's a set of pedals winging their way to you right now. Lucky geezers. Nice one. Um, now, we are going to do another competition for uh, round four of the World Cup, um, cross country and downhill in Val Nord. That happens on the 1st and 2nd of July. We'll be putting that competition live on next week's Dirt Shed show. So start looking at the runners and riders. Hacks and Bodgers! Hacks and Bodgers! Hacks and Bodgers! First time <laughs> you were doing it at home, I know you were. Right, Hacks and Bodgers. First up, I have got this one from Jack Parr, who has made an amazing bike stand on the back of his ute. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Strapless yeah. one. It's really good. Uh, nice and sturdy. He says that the bike is worth £5,000, the ute, a 1000 He's got his priorities he right. He definitely Nice has. one, Jack. I like it. Catch that. It's a good catch. I've got one here from uh, Tommy Kayla and he's basically built a tubeless inflation system Oof. from a garden tank. That looks dangerous. So, so he, he inflates out with the air, I guess, and then yeah. whoosh, straight into the tire. I Big think that's pressure. ace. Yeah, looks like you could blow yourself up with that. Wow, that wasn't such a good throw. Okay, and this one is from Robert Tingricker. Um, he's made an amazing bike stand in his house by using an upturned coffee table. Now Keep, that's pretty smart, isn't it? Keeps the floor tidy, I guess. That yeah. is cool, and it's a nice way to hang your bikes, keep them safe. I like it. Clever. Nice. There you go, dude. Doddy needs to improve his throws. Hacks and bodges, keep them coming to dirtshed at gmbn.com. Caption contest time. Last week's photo is me interviewing Hannah Barnes, uh, but with her dog, her beautiful dog, may I say, uh, pulling a rather strange face. Uh, I've got a particularly good one here from Rory McEwen. So, Bren Dog. How's the season going so far? <laughs> I can see how this is going to go. That's a good one. Uh, I think this is the winner though. Travis Ferguson. You could say the trail conditions were rough. <laughs> That's so it's not bad. That is so fun to read. <laughs> that is the winner. Travis, you are a winner. You win a lovely pock pack like that one down there. I caught it. <laughs> Show off. <laughs> um, send us your details and we'll wing one over to you. Good job. Uh, here's this week's picture. Don't forget to leave your captions in the comment section below. Good luck. Great moment in the show, viewer edits, where we get to send at least around a million or more viewers to some of our friends out there who've made edits. Um, and, and those numbers are guaranteed, Dolly. You know, we like to guarantee at least... One million. At least one million. <laughs> um, so we're going to send some people your way. The links to these videos will be in the description down below. And I'm going to start with Tom Wickham, who sent this video from riding in Adelaide in South Australia. Um, it's a wicked looking place. Nice um, low angles. I love it. Making the trail. Here he comes. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Ripping oh, as well. This looks wicked. Good little jumps. Yeah. A little whip in there. Oh, oh bit, bit of, of crashing. Crash. <laughs> bit of crashing. Gone down. It's a fun looking trail. Love it. Makes me want to go and ride. Yeah, got any more? Uh, yeah, I got one from Bennett Hugh. And he said it's his 33 second Memorial Day edit. He filmed yeah. with his brother uh, in Vashon Island in Washington. Oh. And in brackets, he says, I better get the 1 million views promised. Of course you will. You wouldn't, we no wouldn't problem. lead you on, would we? No, no problem. We so here we go. 33 seconds of radness. Look at this. Oh, look at that. Little Spirits ride for kids. Flick there. Love it. Nice wheelie. No footer. God, you don't see those, Oh my God, throwing them out. Oh, they're trials. Oh, up your street. Oh, I like it. Nice oh, he's whip. got some good style, yeah. Some good style. It's a good edit. Yeah, it is a good edit. More nice weather as well, so it's good to see that. Like it. It's yeah. a bump a week this Makes week. You, oh, look at that cheeky nose bonk there. They're hard. They can go They're so good. wrong. They can go so wrong, those nose bonks. Uh, if you want to get a million views for your videos, um, that is not promised and probably won't happen, please send them in to dirtshed at gmbn.com and we'll take a look at your videos. We love seeing your riding. Uh, we really do. Uh, and it's great to show other people. Fails and bales time, a little bit of trepidation in this part of the show. <laughs> but to get you in the mood, Doddy, I've got this one from Chris McNamara, who uh, has a bit of an unfortunate fall. Um, in the process, uh, dislocates his rib from his sternum, which isn't funny. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. Um, but, no, nervous uh, laughter. <laughs> check this out. Um, riding along, having a nice ride in the, in the 
Trails and... Is that out? It's not funny. <laughs> it isn't funny. It's from another angle. <laughs> Ouch. It is... How did you I, get all those angles? Ow! Stop, stop it, Chris. Stop, stop it. You're... You sound like okay, a traffic that, droid guy. It, it was funny. Let's face it, but I'm happy it was only a rib from a sternum. That's not that bad. They fix. They go back on. It's all good. I think it's kind of got me in the mood. Yes, definitely. Run VT. Nasty. That was nasty. Ooh. Keep sending those fails and bails in to dirtshed at gmbn.com and you could be in with a chance of winning some six 661 pads for protection. Right, I'm going to start with an insta banger. Um, Ryan Middleton, look at this post where he's riding just oh, so fast. Uh, he's making a great noise with his tyres, I just love it. And I'm going to take you to another insta banger. This is Mario the Destroyer. He is the mechanic at Soho Bikes and his Instagram is full of really cool stuff, so well worth checking that one out. Yeah, and this week's shout out, well, we've already mentioned it. You, you've just got to go and watch uh, the Brandon Seminat video again. Simplicity. Yeah, if you've already watched it, just go back and have another go because it's that good. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I could not be more excited. <laughs> I love this. It's the bike vault. Donnie, this is your first bike vault. It is my first bike Slightly vault. Slightly nervous? No, I love bikes. Let's see them. Right, let's go. Let's see what we've got. First one in the bike vault this week is Chris Minto. Lovely looking Norco. Yeah, Norco or him down or bike. That is a weapon. That's nice. Go on, Doddy, what do you think? I'll let you, let you decide. Let's just give him a super nice start. Go on, <laughs> you started high. Yeah. Wow, what a standard. Yeah. Okay, next one, Eddie Rowe, uh, 26 inch bike. Keeping in, it real. In Norway, this is. That's cool. It's nice. Yeah, it's That's nice. nice. It's nice. Very nice. Um, oh, nice canyon. Florian de Boos. That, see, that's nearly super nice, but I'm not too sure about him resting his pedal on his helmet. I was going to say the same thing. I, that mm. is not a good idea. Lost out on the super nice there. You nearly have it. Don't put pedals on helmets. Helmets for safety only. That's a super nice bike. Go on, squeak the <laughs> Right. Next <laughs> one is from Gary Allerton. Um, oh, that's a nice orange. Brave, uh, brave place to take a picture there. Yeah, it could have fallen in. I'd like to have seen the bike in the water, but it's nice. It's really nice. Uh, next one, we have got James Watman. That is... It's a Yeti. That is going back some, There's, isn't there's it? always something about Yetis. They just, that's a super nice, surely. They've yeah, just got, got that thing, haven't got they? Got hit it. Yeah. Nice. Um, it's a good picture, that. Coxis Barna. Um, or nice maybe trek. Barna Coxis. Yeah. Wendover Woods. Nice. My old it's stomping nice. ground, that nice. is. Nice photo. Nice photo. I love, I love it when the trails lead mm. away. Tell him the story. Uh, ooh. Controversial. Wow, that was a that was a slap in the face. I've got a cross bike from uh, who? Who's this from? Lindsay Branston. You've taken us down a strange route there, but you know what? That's a Tomac, isn't it? It's a Tomac. Yeah. So that kind of brings it back mm. into the world of mountain biking in a weird way. When the word Tomac's there, can you do anything else but give it a super nice? I don't know if you can. Can you give a cross bike? Super nice. Oh, no, I'm not sure. Laundry. Skip it. Okay, it was nice. Ooh, hello. Link Brownie Yaramundi. From Australia. 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 Hey, I'll tell you what, I tell you what, I yeah. heard Canberra is a lovely place to go in Australia. Apparently it's That's amazing. That's what I've heard, yeah. it's incredible. Mm. Yeah. Um, Marida, it's nice. No, it's super nice. That's a super nice. Super nice, yeah. super nice. Manual Race, it's got a lovely Santa Cruz. Lake Gilroy, Cape Coyote Lake in Gilroy, USA. What do you think? It's nice. It's nice. I love where nice. it is. It looks stunning there. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, that's a good shot. Clever. Clever. Max Shander. In, this is also in Australia. No, it's Austria. Austria. I would say that is... I, I want to hit the horn on that one, dude. I like a, a dark bike. That looks cool to me. Go on, hey, on. Super yeah, nice. Yeah, super nice. Super nice. Giant in Florida. I would never have said that's Florida. Robert Jewell. 
It's nice. Nice. Like yeah. the pedals. Yeah, like all colour coded. Uh, Seth Reichart in the Dinosaur oh, Valley. Dinosaur Valley. That's good. Cool. That's got to be super Scott nice on that basis. Ah, <laughs> oh, we're out. Shame. Bike vault's over, but keep your bikes coming to the bike vault. We love seeing them. We really do. So send them to dirtshed.gmbn.com, and you might make it in the bike vault. Good luck. Coming up on the channel this week on Saturday, we've got a pro bike check with Blake, and on Sunday we've got correct versus wrong bike setup. Yes, yeah, so as usual on Monday, we're going to have a mechanical video and then it's going to be top 10 Tuesday. Wednesday, we've got a video on how to get the perfect bike set up. Thursday, we've got Ask GMBN and Friday, it's the Dirt Shed Show. Show. Doddy, I don't know if you've noticed, but during the show, I've been wearing a rather fetching race top. Perfectly overdressed for the occasion, yeah, I think. Yes, very, yeah. very nice. I love it. It's now available in the GMBN shop. Uh, alongside the new pint glasses. Yes, and our enamel mugs which I really like actually. They're in a shop, which is a link just up there above my head. Uh, if you want to see the Ollie versus Blake bike battle, click down here. Yeah, and you can see my Steve Pete interview in a gondola where I got all of the gossip from him. Click just there. And don't forget to hit the GMBN logo to subscribe. Brand new video every day of the week. And if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. See you next time.